Hey everyone. So I have turned this poplar bowl. I've just turned the outside and I'm going to make another basket weave illusion bowl. So I I didn't bother showing you the outside of this and how to make a bowl because there's tons of other videos out there on how to make a bowl. And that's all I did. I shaped the outside. It's got a very shallow curve to it. You'll see it when I turn it around and in the finished shots at the end. But I'm just going to use my homemade beading tool, which is here. I've used a old parting tool, just a cheap one. I've actually written on it, beading, so I don't mix it up with anything else. Not that I could, because it has a groove in the end there. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, five millimeters wide. It's just the tool I had. I could have made it narrower by tapering it down a bit, but I'm just using what I have. So I'm going to leave a little bit, I'll leave a little bit wider of an edge here and then start putting them in. I need 15 beads here for the pattern I'm going to put in. So here we go.
So you see I did more than 15 here because the pattern, I may put another pattern on the inside here. I'm not sure, I'll decide after. I'm gonna mark the radial lines on it anyway, but I may take them off after. I'd have a smaller pattern to put on the inside, but the 15 are right around there, I think. I'd have to recount them, but definitely more than 15 on there. So I'm going to do the same on the inside. I'm going to hollow it out. And I'll come back when I put the beads on the inside and, and when I put the radial lines on. Okay? See you then. So I forgot to tell you, I have still have to burn the lines in around between each bead. Now somebody had mentioned using the cloth back sandpaper. You get this in rolls of strips and I had some given to me. Now I've tried it on the outside ring and it, it burned, it did burn, but it smelled so bad, it was horrible just doing one line. So I'm gonna try something else. So I'm using an old business card of mine. And I did the second ring with that and it worked really good. So just a cardboard business card. I imagine any cardboard would do, but I have these and I'm not gonna use them because I'm not doing as much pyrography anymore. So that was my business name before, and now it's Spirit Wind, Wood, Stone, and Bone, as you can see on my channel title. So here we go. I'll show you how to use that one.
Okay, so I've tried the sandpaper. It just melts and folds over. It doesn't work very well. The card works, but it also kind of melts on the edges and folds over, but it, it works. The best thing I found is the Arborite tiles. So that seems to work the best. You can see the last two lines that I did, they're well defined, darker than the rest, so I'm going to have to go over these again. And I'm just going to finish it up with this, and I'm not going to use the others again because they just don't work very well. So all my lines are burnt. Just a couple little spots in here are darker than the rest, but once I put the color in, you won't even notice that. And the Arborite tile, that's the corner I used, and you can see it, it was used before I started, and it just barely took a little bit off. So these things will last a long time. You don't need to go in to your hardware store and grab 10 or 20 samples. Just grab one or two and they'll last you a long time. Don't tell them I sent you. So I'm back at the inside here and I forgot to mention that when you start doing the beads on the inside, before you get it too hollowed out, while it still has support, you should put them in on the edges. Start beading as you're working down hollowing because as you get closer to the bottom 
the outside edge starts to flex a little bit and you won't have even beads around the edge. Now I've gone fairly thin here. It's uh, maybe a quarter of an inch, if that. Yeah, it's not very thick. I should have left it a little bit thicker, but we'll see how it goes. It may end up being garbage. Garbage. You never know. You can hear how thin it is. So I'm just going to start putting the beads on here. I'm just going to try and line up the first one with the outside edge, just by feel. We'll go by where it is. And we'll see how it goes. So if you want to see the second part of this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when the second part of the video is uploaded. See you then!